Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Gerber GDC Tech Skin Pocket Knife. Before we get started, I'd like to wish every one of you Happy Thanksgiving and also a special, a very, very special um, shout out and best wishes to all of those who are serving in the military and are, are away from their family during this special day, um, Thanksgiving. I, I know what it's like. <laughs> I've uh, ate some pretty crappy Thanksgiving meals on some ships on long deployments. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to the video. I was walking around Walmart uh, because I am not going to go to Walmart <laughs> during the uh, Black Friday sale and the after Thanksgiving thing. No thank you, I am just too old for this and my back still hurts. But um, this was on an end cap and it was only $20. They, there are were, there were a lot of knives on end caps and sets and everything from Sog and Kershaw and Gerber and none of them really did anything for me except for this one and it's kind of strange because usually Gerber's on end caps that are on special don't but this one does. It has a, a little special thing. It's $20. Again, it's Gerber GDC Tech Skin Knife, and we'll talk about that in a second. And it comes with the shard in a combo pack for only 20 bucks. So, let's see what it's all about. What really grabbed my attention about this knife is that it's marketed as a smartphone safe knife that you could put this in your pocket with technology like a cell phone or other things with a screen that are prone to get scratched and it won't scratch it like a regular knife like I would not um, put my cell phone with this metal knife together in a bag or in my pocket or anything like that so this is a mid-sized EDC knife Again, it's marketed as a smartphone safe knife. It uh, has this uh, tech skin, <laughs> which is like a rubberized, non scratch coating that they call tack hide. And it, prote it protects um, all your stuff around it because <laughs> it's nice. It also makes for uh, it being very grippy. It has a good purchase there. I haven't had this out yet, so let's go ahead and um, get this out. And because this is a combo pack, one of those special holiday season things, um, comes in a nice tin. As you can see there, there's the cover. So it could be a nice stocking stuffer if the person has really big feet. And we'll go ahead and let's uh, let's talk about the little thing they sort of throw in here real quick. This is called the shard. It's sort of like a little multi-purpose tool. It's supposed to be aircraft safe. Um, where you can bring it onto a plane and they won't uh, take it away from you, supposedly. And that has room for a little interpretation by the person who's making that determination. But anyway, it comes with a wire stripper, a uh, small screwdriver, a pry tool here, it's saying, a medium driver there, a bottle opener right here, a lanyard hole. Wow, that's a, a powerful feature. <laughs> And the Phillips screwdriver on this end. Um, I don't know. I usually don't. I don't know. You could throw it in a bug out bag or what, whatever. I think they should have put like a can opener on it. I think that's more useful. And then you could really use it in a bug out bag. But they always seem to just go with the bottle opener. I don't know. So that really limits the use of that. But this review is about this knife right here. And again, the gimmick is that it's supposed to when you fold it up not have any sharp surfaces everything is sort of rubbery so that means that if this is in my pocket I can put this on here and it's not going to scratch it because there's nothing metal sticking out and uh oh it's all scratched no just kidding <laughs> let me see if there are any scratches here right now there's only smudges on here and yeah it didn't scratch it which is nice I would never have done that with my real knife 
So yeah, I guess that's true. So if you're the type of person that, let's say, um, just throws all this stuff in their pocket and they won't carry a knife because they have technology like this in their pocket, and that's your excuse why you're not carrying a knife, well, you don't have that excuse anymore. This is great for the technology age, probably a knife uh, with a design that sort of goes along with all the technology that we carry. So that that's why I'm sort of excited about this review. It was actually suggested by one or two viewers that I review this because of these features. So again, I said this was a mid-sized knife because it's not terribly big. Uh, the blade is only two and a half inches. But let's, uh, before I open this up, let's go ahead and go over the outside. The head of material is a Zytel 101. Uh, it, it's probably um, like Zytel with a rubber over mold, or so, over mold or something like that. Very rubbery, and I think the Zytel is sort of right underneath the rubber is what I'm suspecting right here. The uh, close length of this is 3.4 inches, and it has dual thumb studs. And those are these, and it is kind of a little difficult to get out as opposed, because there's like no room between the handle and the thumb stud so and and it's also small so it's uh, an interesting feel <laughs> trying to get that out so I guess you have to sacrifice something there and that's a pretty tight lock this knife is not going to just flip open let me see how you close this it's a lock back so there's the lock back underneath this rubber over mold it's just sort of cushioned in there let's go ahead and and you can actually see the lock come up right there a little bit, I think. So I don't think you're going to get this to fly open. I don't know. Oh, I almost did. So actually it might be possible. Maybe. <laughs> it's very light. Maybe with a little bit of breaking in. It can. So again, you have these dual rubberized thumb studs. It's a lock back. Overall length when this is open is 5.8 inches. The blade is a two and a half inch blade that is coated with some sort of black coating that the website doesn't state what it is. It is a hollow grind, plain edge, and it's a drop point. So good, you know, overall uh, multi-purpose kind of blade. It should serve, uh, you know, a as a good EDC blade right there. The um, weight actually is pretty surprising. It's pretty light. It's only uh, 2.1 ounces. It really is pretty light. Now the blade steel they use in here uh, should be no surprise because this is made in China and it's an inexpensive knife. It's 7CR17 MOV which is uh, China's equivalent to the US 440A stainless steel. And yes it is made in China. So let's go ahead and run a couple tests on here and see if it's uh, a solid buy or not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just close this up and let's look at blade centering. Usually when you have these plasticky whatever rubber blades, there's a lot of flex and everything in there. So it's hard to tell blade centering. But we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. And you can see it's a little bit off to the right. But I bet you I can flex this. Yeah, it's all, now it's all the way to the left. So that's just the nature of these type of uh, scales. But uh, it's, it seems to be sitting off to the right. But... Also, if you notice, it's all the way in. There's no part of that metal blade sticking out. And it doesn't feel like it will accidentally stay out. Because that would be really bad. Because if it were to um, be sticking out like that, you do put it in your pocket with your phone and it does scratch. Then it sort of defeats the whole gimmick and, and purpose of this knife. Alright, so retention. Um, doesn't feel like it's coming out. And it seems to be popping in there. It is a it could probably stand a, a couple of drops of oil right there. You can see where it starts just uh, putting in. By the way, this is not assisted opener. It's just a regular um, opening kind of blade there. Um, I didn't point out the pivot screw right there, which is not sticking out over the rubber over mold. It's sort of indented in there, not sticking out, which is important. All right, so next let's go ahead and check for lockup has a, a really nice loud sound there. There is just a hint of up and down play. You can hear it. Just a hint and there's no side to side play. 
but it still feels really solid and most lockbacks are very solid and if they do have a little bit of play it's usually okay let's go ahead and do the paper cut test let's see how sharp it is right there it is push cutting now I had an interesting comment I had to translate it this is one of the fun things about um, Google is that um, on YouTube if somebody writes a comment in a different language I could go to Google and translate it and I had um, a Russian viewer say oh we don't test uh, our knives with cutting paper we shave with them <laughs> now I have shaved with um, knives and reviews before to check for sharpness and I'll be happy to uh, do that and it looks like we're shaving I'm not sure what that Russian view was implying that maybe Americans aren't hairy enough or our knives are too wimpy but <laughs> I don't know I think it's just gonna be funny which I appreciate so it, it obviously um, comes sharp enough to shave next thing we do here at the Gear Obsession channels is to check to make sure that this is hardened properly that it's not weak or or maybe overdone and too brittle so let's go ahead and just do a uh, stab into some whoa got splinter soft pine there and rock that back and forth see that's in there rock it back and forth let's check that point right there and it looks like it did really good I'll let this focus so you can go ahead and take a look at it for yourself so while you're in Walmart on Black Friday or shortly before or after or maybe during Thanksgiving um, this this is definitely worth uh, picking up if you're looking for something like this by the way if you notice no lanyard hole and no clip this is meant to be thrown in your pocket with all your other things including your tech that's its gimmick and it seems to be true it doesn't scratch the screen I think they missed the mark I think Gerber did miss the mark with one little thing um, this is black you know black it's tactical me look at it as a matter of fact it looks almost stealthy they might have been able to get away with calling this the stealth knife um, they should have came out with some different colors to maybe appeal to um, people who may like I don't know OD green like me or pink or red or or whatever because this was this would be great to throw in a purse um, with some of your technology you know you might have a um, a tablet in there or your cell phone or whatever don't enter in the purse and you could throw this in there and not worry about it scratching up those things so definitely a, a knife for the tech age right there and I do recommend it for the twenty dollars in the gift pack if you are watching this video um, after the holiday season or after they're sold out I'm going to go ahead and provide the link below to uh, purchase it on Amazon right now it's being listed for twenty three dollars and seventeen cents so um, that's what you'll get if you hit the link if you just want to uh, get it on Amazon all right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. Again, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And again, um, thank you so much for all of you who are serving in the military right now and are away from your families, and I feel for you. And just use extra gravy on that stuff that they call turkey. Because uh, <laughs> hopefully it's better now. And also, um, thank you uh, very much for those of you who also have served our country so we can celebrate holidays like this. Alright, thank you very much and I hope you have a great evening and again, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I was going to say Halloween. No! <laughs> happy Thanksgiving.